This is ABC 7 News. Local and federal investigators are still on the scene tonight of what appears to be a major break in a homicide case that has gone unsolved for three decades. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Anna Dates. Multiple agencies in San Mateo County are investigating two locations. They believe both are connected to a missing persons case from nearly 30 years ago. That case is of Ilva Hogner, a 42-year-old Peninsula woman who went missing back in 1996. Now, we have team coverage on this, starting with with ABC 7 News reporter Ryan Curry. He joins us live in Redwood City where the search for evidence continues right now. Ryan. Dan Alma, good afternoon. We're here at this home on Farm Hill Boulevard, which records say is a listed address for a man named Thomas Pressburger. NASA confirmed to us this afternoon he works at the Ames Research Center as a computer scientist, and he is involved in this investigation. Now, moments ago, authorities brought in search dogs and other digging equipment to the house in the backyard to collect new evidence. Sky 7 flying over this home on Farm Hill Boulevard in Redwood City Wednesday. It shows investigators removing bricks from a patio over a section in the backyard. Authorities are searching a home and a park down the street. They say the search is about Ilva Hogner, a Palo Alto woman who went missing in October of 1996. The case went cold, but within the past year, investigators started looking back into the case. A small town like Belmont, missing persons case like this, um, near and dear to our hearts. So um, we've recently uh, started looking back into it, and that's what brought us out here into Redwood City today. At the home, investigators used a radar to scan a section of the backyard. Shortly after, they started bringing shovels and other digging equipment to that site. So hopefully they find something and figure it out, even if it's not the answer anyone wants. Annie Norgard says the neighborhood has been on high alert all day. She says this area is usually quiet, but says all neighbors have been shocked to hear the searches about a nearly three decade long cold case. Well, you know, as everyone always says, you can't believe it happens in your own backyard, but you know it does. So mm -hmm. hopefully they can find something and, you know, bring closure to the families and justice to whoever did this. Belmont police say they expect this search to go on for all of Wednesday and possibly the rest of the week. Right now it's tough to tell, but I would expect at least through the end of the day, if not into tomorrow at some point, and we're hoping to get some more details out probably in the next 48 hours. Now the search is isolated just with those two areas, this home behind me and the park, which is just down the street. And moments ago, authorities with Belmont police grabbed a bunch of shovels and other digging equipment, headed back into the house to resume what is believed to be the search for more evidence in that backyard. But for now, reporting live in Redwood City, Ryan Curry, ABC 7 News. Ryan, thank you. All right, ABC 7 News reporter Melanie Woodrow continues our team coverage. She's in the newsroom with more on the history of this nearly 30-year-old unsolved mystery. Mel. Um, and Dan, if you can imagine Ilva's family and friends searching for answers along with law enforcement for nearly 30 years, perhaps today closer than they've ever been to having those answers. I just want to say come home. Home him, Ilva. Ilva Hogner's brother pleading for her return in 1996. The 42 year old went missing October 14th that year. She was last seen at work at a software company in Belmont. Her car was found in nearby San Carlos four days later. Her father arrived in California from Spain. We have no traces of her, and we have all reasons to believe that this disappears from what we know from her personality that. Uh, she hasn't left her workplace by free will. Investigators searched Belmont's Twin Pines Park, but their search turned up nothing. We have nothing to show that she was kidnapped. Nothing, no, we can't find any signs of a struggle, anything like that. So all we can uh, say at this point is it's a disappearance under extremely suspicious circumstances. In 1997, investigators also searched this area in Palo Alto Hills where an acquaintance or possibly former boyfriend of Hockner's had lived. Now investigators are looking again decades later in an attempt to provide long awaited answers to her family's question. What happened to Ilva? Investigators have said they started looking back into this case within the past year. The search at that home on Farm Hill Boulevard is expected to last beyond today. In the newsroom, Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News. All right, Melanie, thanks very much.